What's going on everybody? Welcome back to TBD Reviews. This is going to be a short video. Um, long story short, if there's ever such a thing. Um, I didn't get much recorded at Expo. Um, one, subscribers, which amazed me, coming over, asking me to have a chit chat with them while I was walking around with the camera set up. Well, with my phone on a gimbal, but there we go. Um, quite a few subscribers, which was nice. Other reviewers and other people from Twitterland, whether they're subscribers or just general vape friends through Twitter or social media, they wanted to stop and chat, which, again, I don't mind stopping and chatting. That is what I use Expo for. I don't use it to game free shit. I don't use it to just basically cause drama or anything like that. I go for the social side of it, especially now I'm making friends with more people in the community, whether it's companies, reviewers, written reviewers, promoters, whatever. It's more of a social aspect for me. So I do apologise that there's hardly any content. I think I've got something like 10 minutes worth in total after editing and cutting and all that stuff. Um, cutting out all the personal conversations I was having with people as well because obviously they, they didn't want to be on camera and stuff like that. So, which is understandable. That's, that's their call. I said to them, do you want to be in or not? And they asked if they could be cut out. So there's a few splices and stuff going on with the video but yeah it's only like 10 minutes worth of content um but yeah all, all in all vapor expo now i'm recording this at 20 past 10 on the monday morning which so it's just the day after and i assume quite a few other reviewers are traveling home um so safe travels fingers crossed you'll get back home safe and sound and everything and i hope you all had a weekend um, but yeah, Expo, uh, it was it was crazy. It really was crazy. Wasn't as busy as previous Expos. Um, wasn't much leaflets being thrown in your face by vendors, which was a nice touch. Unless you go further down field towards the main stage and there was quite leaflet sort of in your face. Um, again, with recording, there was companies... IVG was one of them. Um, walk out right in front, sort of doing all this with the top, getting promotion and stuff, which I, I don't mind, but you could ask. Or you could say, can you review some of our juices, that type of thing. They'd have been told no, because no. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it's just hard to try and record. Now, obviously, I wasn't there for the Friday. Um, I was only there for Saturday and Sunday, but it was quite hard to record between subscribers and just general fuckwits. I'll put it that way: jumping in front of the camera, doing faces and stuff, um, bumping into you as well. You're walking along, obviously you got the gimbal or whatever, and you're walking along sort of like this, and you obviously you're moving the camera with the joystick and stuff. But then they just walk straight into you around. They can see what you're doing. They just walk in, so you. you a bit of a letdown, I'll put it that way. But little boys will be little boys, I suppose. Whatever. Um, Zeb Zebra Booth stand company, whatever. Um, one of the females on stilts. Now, I will put this on record. I do apologise for walking into you. I was on the gimbal and something was going on with the setup. And for some reason, I looked at the floor. And then I looked back up to the phone. And then... When I looked up, I got some some females backside right in my face and walked straight into an in office center flying. So I do apologize for that. Um, I wasn't expecting someone's behind the same height as me. Quite a few reviewers said you are quite big, obviously 6'5 in height, probably 6'5 in waist, as CVP said. But there we go. Um, but yeah, all, all in all, it was great meeting the reviewers. It was great meeting the subscribers. So this is just going to be like a short positive and negative side of Expo. So the positives, obviously, meeting subscribers, that to me was great. So, someone asked me to sign their t-shirt, which was, again, crazy, crazy. Now, I'm only, so, what, 600 plus subscribers, so I'm only a little tadpole in a big ocean when it comes to reviewers. And to be asked to sign someone's t-shirt was just crazy it really was crazy so obviously i signed it they did say they're going to put it on instagram and tag me in it 
but I don't know who it was. They did tell me the name. But they had other signatures on there um, from other reviewers as well. So, all in all, I'll be able to see who it is and probably shout you out in a later video or whatever. Um, but yeah, meeting subscribers was fantastic. Signing stuff out of this world. Meeting the reviewers, chilling with the reviewers all weekend. Obviously, you had Jules Mama Vapes. Biggest surprise ever, Gailey Bops and Zan. I, honestly, I thought they weren't going, so I was a bit like, oh, that's a bit of a shame. Obviously, turning up and get one of the biggest hugs ever from Gailey Bops, and there we go. I, I, I do like Gail. She does have a soft spot in my eyes, so there we go. And I, I love Zan as well. Zan came up, I went to shake his hand, and he was like, no, give me a hug. So that's how we do it now. We're all hugging, and obviously it went on from there. So it was like shaking hands, hugging, and this and else with other people, like other reviewers. MBK, great person. Uh, little bro vapes. Me and him had a laugh. Me and TVP and Chris Grimes as well. All three of us. And I think it's Chris's brother John was with us. I think it's his brother. I hope it's his brother. My bad if it's not. Um, obviously we're chatting. Obviously Chris is sorting out someone regarding coils. And TVP decides he's going to play around with coils that Chris has just basically freshly wrapped to show how easy it is for him to wrap a coil. It's something else and TVP just bent the leg clean in half, put it into a pot and he's having them coils now type of thing. Because obviously he didn't have no snips to cut the legs off. But it was just a general laugh. Um, TVP obviously leaving his mod, his Kadama, I suppose Kadama uh, Lustro I think it was. I'm not so sure. Leaving that on the counter near enough all the time to where MF8 was walked off with it for at least 10 minutes and TVP had no idea it had gone walkers. Um, Empire Vape Co. I can't, I can't praise that man, to be honest. There's just no words that can do justice for him. It, for what he's done for me on a reviewer or an enthusiast level, and what he's helped out behind the scenes, personal stuff. Now it's it's not major stuff, personal stuff. He's just a bit of advice and whatever. But what he's done for me is just out of this world. It really is. And I even said to I think it was Chris Grimes. Chris is for me. I, although I do like other reviewers, and I have a huge amount of respect for reviewers like Vic and everyone else. Chris to me is my top reviewer. Because he's just, he's more, I don't want this to come across as wrong or negative to other reviewers, but he comes across as more of a friend than a fellow reviewer, which is nice. No, I'm not saying that other reviewers don't, but there's just something about Chris that sort of changes the way he is. But obviously I've got nothing but love and respect for all the reviewers out there. Um, VH reviews, Roy's reviews, even though he went into a bit of drag queen type of dress up, which was actually quite funny. But yeah, subscribers and like and reviewers, it, they made the weekend. Well, yeah, they made the weekend to a certain degree. I'm gonna go on record and say Vape Tube and Vape Brown, especially Vape Tube, made Expo what it was for me. How helping out. All the reviewers and stuff. Now, obviously, on the Sunday, they did a um, like the companies come over to the media booth center where where all the reviewers were. Obviously, I was running late and stuff, but it was a time for reviewers and businesses to sort of cross paths and business cards and all that. Like now, I heard from Jules Mama Vapes and quite a few others that. The companies were very interested in working with smaller reviewers. Sadly, I missed that. There was a company there which, obviously, Mike from uh, VapeTube went over and introduced me to them. They they sorted me out big time, which much appreciated. Now, as I said, I don't use Expo for free shit, but these kind of hookups always helps the channel. So much appreciated there. But it's just general laugh and banter for the weekend. Um, obviously, the highs of it is spending it with the vape family. That is the highs for me, and obviously with vape tube and everyone else that's involved. Downsides to it. Now we're going to get into this. Obviously, there is, as I said, there's like a 
10 minute video clip thing which I'll play at the end to sign us out so if you want you can just skip the video if you're not really into all the talking stuff um, but the downside to the expo some more on from uh, Facebook group all wood vapes I think it was thinking it was a wise idea to take two mods from evolution vapes or evolution vapings booth I should say if not the biggest one of the biggest distributors in the UK so we can get found out and he was found out within hours um, obviously that was on the Saturday they said bring us the money this and for now so he went back you give him 40 quid and the device is back but from what I've seen sponsors are dropping from his group where well, his group's closed as of now that I've seen I can't get onto that group at all so I was never part of that group but when someone decides they're going to rob a booth or something like that I'm not going to sit here and be all quiet over it if, it, if someone's fucked up someone's fucked up and I'll call them out now obviously I don't know the full ins and outs I only know what Evolution Vaping's put up on their social media there are screenshots of the messages where this Allwood Vapes dude denied it at first, then he admitted it as soon as his photo went viral. Dude, you were wearing your own name and your own Allwood Vapes hoodie when you decided to rob two mods from Evolution Vaping. You absolute moron. Now, whether you were wearing a plain white t-shirt or you were wearing a named hoodie, whatever, you're in the wrong. You tried denying it, you got caught out, you turned around and said you've only got 40 quid for the Sunday. If that was me, I think Evolution Vaping actually handled that quite well. Because if that was me, dude, you'd have been on your ass. I'll put it like that. No matter if it was two of the cheapest devices or two of the most expensive devices, you're a moron. And you're not welcome in the vape community. And I think that echoes across to all the reviewers, promoters, companies and stuff like that. You are not welcome anymore. You've overstepped the line. So, see you later. Um, vendors as well. Certain vendors... Now, I know there's quite a bit of hype at the moment, but EH Pro overselling the Calpi. I think they had a problem with But it was near enough £10 more than what Empire Vapco is selling it for and Nature Vapor selling it for. So I was quite pissed off with that. And no offence to Vic or EH Pro, but I'm not going to spend near close to £40 on an RTA when I prefer drippers so there's nothing against them it's just the pricing wasn't right for me and then you got bulk RTA again I was looking at a few RTAs and Umeo wouldn't sell me the bulk so bear in mind obviously I was paying customer I wasn't expecting it free or anything like that I was willing to pay for it but they wouldn't give me one so can't really review that. Obviously, I've been in touch with uh, Mark Fagan over it because obviously it's his um, RTA, and he said on Instagram, Umie have quite a few selling at the UK Expo, which I commented on that Instagram post and said, no, they're not. They're not selling it to anyone. When I went up to him on the Saturday, I think there are 25 on the st on the top of the stand. Went back Sunday. Bear in mind, on the Saturday they weren't selling. Went back on the Sunday, they still weren't selling, but they only had five. So, where did the others go? I know where the others went, they were given out to other reviewers to review. Now I didn't play the reviewer card because it's one of them type of things for me. If a company wants me to review their stuff, then go for it. Obviously I'll chase a few companies, whatever, like many reviewers do, but I won't go expecting stuff for review. Um, Vupu, again, now I've, I've had quite a bit of detailed conversation with Vupu over the last couple of months obviously since reviewing the X217 um, obviously they supplied giveaway stuff as well for the 200 subscriber giveaway and so forth um, but yeah Vupu wouldn't sell me any of their products for review now as I said sell because I was going to buy the products to review so that is a bit of a piss take there. Advocate as well, having certain things on the stand. And with Advocate, I can guarantee you now, you can go to MFAPES and you can check out Zan as well. They'll tell you the same. Go over and we're not selling them. There was, all three of us went over at the same time and they weren't winning some. So there's three sales gone straight away, type of thing. 
So certain companies not willing to sell, but they're willing to give to bigger reviewers. Now I'm not being funny. I know reviewers need product to review, but surely if I'm willing to drop money on a device, then it's going to sound backwards. But then I should I should come before the reviewers. I'm willing to pay for it, type of thing as a vapor yes it would be reviewed and stuff like that but i'm willing to pay for it and to be turned down a bit pissed off with that especially with ume having so many and then i find out other reviewers have got the bulk rta which kind of annoyed me um but i did pick up a few things um a fellow subscriber sent me well he gave me the Toris aura um regulated squonk mod for review in red so he gave me that um, he also gave me the nada rta to review as well so much appreciated there um obviously i picked up the advocate no it's not advocate yeah it's asmodus v3 uh minikin which don't get this confused with the v3s which i'm taking the idea off to show you there are two models there's the v3 and the v3s V3 comes with a flat top, which I prefer. The V3S has like a build up around the edge and all down the main bit, sort of down here. So you can only, I think it's 28 mil tank you can fit on there. Is it 28, 27? But there's like overhang at the front because of how the 510 is positioned. But that's in for review. I've already got a couple of problems with it, which. I should have spoke to him at Expo about, but hey ho. Um, and I got the. Put that to one side. It's a good mod, to be fair. And I don't want to give too much work because it's obviously going to be in the review. Wireless charging. So. And then I picked up the Keen in brushed stainless steel. Now I put my goon on top with a custom white tip, well, clear drip tip. And obviously the lights hit in that, so you, you can probably hard to see. But that actually goes well together. I do like that setup. So yeah, I uh, picked up quite a bit of juice. Accessories, cotton wire. Um, obviously, starting to build my own coils for me. Obviously, um, just so I can be more consistent on doing juice reviews so i know what coil is in there i know what flavors i should be getting off that coil type of thing obviously so it's going to be in the same rda whatever but there we go um but yeah i only got a few bits of hardware most of it was juice and build mat and all that lot but all, all in all out of meeting all the subscribers now this is no offense to subscribers this is no offense to reviewers you can take all the negative side of Expo with the company's not selling stuff. You can take the dude that decided he's going to try and rob two mods from Evolution Vaping. And you can add that into the same basket as meeting subscribers. No, actually, take the subscribers out of that. Meeting all the reviewers and all the vape family and all that. As much as it was thoroughly enjoyed, the highs and the lows, the biggest thing that got me, which I owe a big thanks to VapeTube and Vaporound for, is having me on the big screen or big screens i should say that was a big huge surprise i wasn't expecting that so that kind of that, that topped it off because i had people coming up to me going you're the dude in the screen now obviously empire vape co and i think it was mbk told me um i was in the big screens i'm on the big screen i was like yeah whatever type of thing and then obviously i saw myself on the big screen uh saturday i think it was early afternoon ish and then on the sunday i had people going you're the dude off the screen well yeah on tbd i'm as i said i'm quite a shy person so i find it quite hard to talk to people but after a while it was just becoming more natural like chatting this something else uh vapor man photos as well absolute legend of a bloke and his partner great great people um jay vape reviews as well um the vlogging 
J reviews, not the Welsh dude. So I'm going to get them confused up. Great meeting him as well. Um, but yeah, meeting people that social media and you, you don't really get to put faces to names and stuff. Um, Crystal Child Vapes from Twitter as well. Met her. Lovely, lovely, lovely person. But yeah, the whole meeting people and seeing myself on the big screen, seeing myself on the big screen kind of made me like shit myself because I was like, I'm not expecting that. But yeah, that's a nice touch and much appreciated with that for doing that vape tubing, vape round. I will add the clip in at the end um, of the big screen. So, but right now I'm going to sign off and say I hope all the reviewers and everybody that went to Expo had a safe travel home whether it's in the UK or across the pond, which I'm not going to hit on that because I'm not really going to cause drama. But it's a shame not all reviewers did actually conversate with other reviewers. But yeah, anyway, I hope everyone has a safe travel home, whether it's uh, UK or abroad and stuff. I hope everyone had a great expo. Big love again, VapeTube and VapeRound and everyone that made expo what it was, which was great. But I've been TBD, so to the next one, take it easy and enjoy the clip.
can't. Fuck off. Someone said, don't drink a potion. So kiss your neck with no emotion.